Welcome back. So after last video, I got a request of people asking me to do another texture tutorial. So this time we're gonna look at how we can progress into making more complicated materials using dirt, displacement and bump, and also mixed texture. So let's jump into it. Now let's take a look at what we're going to do today. These are the textures that we're going to create. And let's start with a glossy material and open your node editor. I'll change the diffuse color to a dark color. So I change the value to 9% and um, change the index to 7 to create a metal material, a reflexive material. And we'll increase the roughness a bit to 0.1. So here we have, we're gonna connect image texture to the bump. Here we're gonna plug a branch texture here. Now it's time to apply the texture. So we have our first texture here. Let's take a closer look. This is our first texture. All right, looking cool. Hmm. Pretty metallic. This is the texture I did in the in a tutorial that I made before the gloomy metallic skull so that's our first one done one so let's get to the second one here for the second one we have to change the projection to to spatial or spherical to make this kind of look because it's not a flat material and this is UVW mapping. I would rather this one. So we get to the second one. For this one, we're we're gonna do we're gonna make it iridescent, all right? As same as last time, same as the previous tutorial. We're gonna change it to film index to one and film width. Let's say point two. Mm, how about point one eight? Okay, this is looking cool. How about point one six? Uh, all right, seven one seven one nine point one nine. Great. So let's get to the third one here. The third one we're gonna do, 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 do. we're gonna make a lighter color. Okay, make the color lighter to get a different look. So let's go for ninety percent. Cool. How about um, different color? All right, great. So that's it for the these. For the last one, we're gonna do mixed material. How about mixing two and three? Let's see. To do copy one. Oh, I mean copy two, and paste it here. Oh, actually, we're gonna make this material. The first material in this the second and we're gonna create a mixed material here to connect to mix them to make a small baby mix baby here and now we're gonna plug a dirt here so basically when you're mixing two materials you're getting the mixed material with 50% of material 1 and 50% of material 2. And now we're going to apply it to the fourth skull to see how it looks. 
and we're going to change the projection to spatial as well. Okay, so this is half half, and now we're going to change the amount. So what the, the dirt is going to do is it's going to mask the first one as a similar similar to the mask in Photoshop. It's going to mask on the first material and show up the second material with the black part. Only the black part will show up. Let's start with the radius. So if you crank up the radius, you can see the, the second material is showing up here and there. And the dirt is in the hollow part that you can't basically you can't see because it's hollow and there will be star storing dirt. And then when you crank up the strength, the it would get more and thicker. And also when you increase the details, it's gonna get more contrast on the dirt between the dirt and the the light part. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of adjustments to make it look right. Do do do. Now let's invert normal and see how it looks. Mm, well, I like it better before. So inverting normal is like inverting the mask. You invert the black with white. So let's. let's Take it back. Um, see how it looks now. The whole picture. How about changing the color a bit? Hmm, looking great. So we'll do it that way. So let's see the final render and what we learned this time. Wow, this is great. I love it. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. If you want to connect with me on Instagram, there is a link below as well as the reference tutorial. So, bye bye. I'll see you next time.